Hey guys, I'm Dr. McFarland, and next up in the series, we'll be looking at my five favorite delay effects in the Line 6 HX effects. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, then welcome. I'm a producer, teacher, and tone crafter right here from Nashville, Tennessee. And what we have before me is the Line 6 HX Effects. So very, very quick story about my history with Line 6. My very first Line 6 pedal was the green DL4 delay pedal. And it's the one that had the four switches and all the little knobs you could turn. And it had all the different types of delays that you would ever want. From ping pong to reverse, from auto swell. And it even had a built in looper that you could layer different sounds with. So it was a great first pedal to have as far as delay goes. And I definitely got a lot of mileage out of that pedal. But a few years after I got that, the M series came out, which was a huge upgrade from the individual stomp boxes that Line 6 usually provided. And I started off with the M9, then got the M13, and then downgraded all the way down to the M5. And I actually used that pedal as my volume, my tremolo, my auto volume echo type sounds on my European pedal board that I used when I toured Germany and all the different countries throughout Europe. So it definitely stands up against the rigors of the road. And if you're looking for a single pedal that can have a lot of different sounds, just one at a time, then the M5 is an excellent choice if you're looking to fill a spot on your pedal board. But as far as the HX effects, the reason why I got this pedal is it has all the functionality that I'd want as far as making presets and switching between different sounds very quickly. And what I love is Line 6 kept all the legacy effects like my auto volume echo and my sweep echo and all kinds of other effects while still introducing a lot of new ones that we can still enjoy alongside each other. So what I've done is picked out five of my favorite delay effects and we're just going to go through them. I'll play a little bit and we'll see how they sound. So the first one I'm going to be looking at is the simple delay. And the reason why I chose this delay is it's really in the name. It's just really dead simple. You can't get it wrong. Just either set your milliseconds or your subdivision to whatever you want. And all you really have to deal with is your time, feedback, mix, level, and trails. Now I do suggest having trails on for all your delays because what that does is when you bypass the effect, the sound is going to keep going and not just cut off. So for example, let me turn off the trails on this and then I'm going to play a chord and then turn off the effect, you can hear it actually stop. So check this out. Okay, so there you go. You got the trails off. Now we're gonna put the trails back on. And let me play a chord now, and you're gonna hear the delay keep going even after I disengage the effect. Okay, let's try it again. All right, very cool. So that's another reason why I chose this pedal because it has spillover pretty much between all of your delay, reverbs, and wet type effects. So that's just a great feature that I always look for in a delay reverb type pedal. But let's go ahead and do some playing and let's turn the mix up a little bit more so you can hear it. And here we go. So I'm gonna tap it in. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that time was set to was set to quarter notes. So let's actually set it to dotted eighth. This is what that sounds like. So, like I said, it's really simple and you really can't get it wrong. So the next delay we're gonna look at is the analog with mod. And this comes from the legacy effects. And I'm 
Pretty sure it's based off of the Boss DM2, but this actually has an added modulation effect that you can dial in. So we got time, feedback, speed, and depth for the modulation, mix, level, and trails. So let's go ahead and listen to what this sounds like. Okay, and let's turn up the depth a little bit more. And let's turn up the speed a little bit more. So you can definitely hear the waviness of the modulation going on. And it's a little bit too much for me. But let's just say we keep the speed where it is and we turn the depth down and see what that sounds like. Very cool. And I like the analog with mod because it is a little darker sound versus the simple delay which is a brighter more digital sounding delay. Alright let's go ahead and go to the stereo and why I chose this one is because it has a left time and a right time. So for my left, you can see that I chose quarter notes and for the right time, dotted eighth. All right, you can adjust the feedback for the left and the right, and we got mix, level, and trails. So this is a very simple effect, but it just allows you to have two different subdivisions within the same block without having to use up two different blocks, just for a quarter note delay and a dotted eighth delay. So this is what this sounds like. Alright, let's see what happens if we take the core note and actually make it a half note. Check this out. Alright, now let's make the right time a chord note dot. So now we're basically just making everything a little bit slower, but I'm going to pick the same tempo. Alright, there you go. It sounds really cool. All right, let's go to the Sweep Echo. And this was originally found on the Green DL4, and it's just a echo that swept frequency back and forth. So I don't think it's exactly like it was on the actual pedal, but it's close enough and it still sounds really cool. So let's see what I can come up with here.
All right, now the last delay that I've chosen is actually not a delay within itself, but it is a swell effect. And I was very spoiled using the green DL4 because it had the auto volume echo, which is a way to automatically swell into a note without having to use a volume pedal. So I definitely took full advantage of that throughout the years, using it for faux pedal steel type effects and just good old ambient swell effects without using a volume pedal. But I think the vintage swell has a little bit more control than the actual auto volume echo. So I'm gonna show you this one. It's gonna give you a similar effect, okay? So what we have here is a time, a feedback, a bit depth, which is really cool because you can help shape the overall tonality with that. There's a sample rate, a mix level, a rate depth headroom, threshold attack, and then also trails. So the threshold and the attack is really where we can control our actual pick attack versus how long the swell comes in after I initially strike the chord. So our attack right now it's around like a thousand milliseconds, so it's basically one second of attack time. So if I hit a chord here, so by the time I plug my string, it's basically going to swell in within a second after that. I want it to be a little bit longer. This is around 1300 milliseconds. All right, let's see what happens if we turn on a stereo delay. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments which effect you like the best out of the five that I've chosen here today. And if you have one that is your favorite that you didn't see in the video, definitely let me know that so I can check it out. So if you are new to amps and pedals, then I have a free guide for you down in the description. Just click on the link and enter your email address and you'll be sent my top eight tone tips that you can utilize for pretty much any guitar setup that you'll ever have. And in the meantime, I'm Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.